Wow guys, look at this view. And no, we're not listing another property today. We do have the honor and the privilege, thanks to BMW Tiger Valley, to show you this beautiful BMW Z4 convertible 2 liter S drive. Styling, super aggressive, it's a motorsport, it's a cabriolet and the Z4 looks the part. Now from the kidney grill to the aggressive lights, I love the aggressive look that it gives the car. On this specific vehicle we've got the upgraded 19 inch alloy wheels versus the standard 18 inch wheels that comes with the vehicle. And as you move to the side of the vehicle, wheel to the back as well. And I think again, as with the BMW X7, the rear of the vehicle is the favorite part. Twin pipes at the back. Styling is just really aggressive. Can't say much more than that. Awesome. So let's get to the detail. Two liter, twin turbo motor, 145 kilowatts as well as 320 Newton meters of torque. Catapults this vehicle through means of an 8-speed automatic gearbox as well as rear-wheel drive in a mere 6.6 .6 seconds. Now this is extremely impressive if you take into consideration that this is only the entry model. This vehicle also comes out in the M40i which is a 3-litre inline-six twin-turbo and produces a lot more power than this motor right here. So as previously mentioned, they moved away from a hard top to a soft top. Now why did they do this? Practicality wise, you've got a boot with 281 liters, more than enough to put your luggage or your shopping in. Beautiful. So as previously mentioned, you'll notice S-Drive on some of the vehicles as well as X-Drive on some of the BMW models. What does that mean? X-Drive is BMW's version of Quattro, which is a four-wheel drive. And the S-Drive is a two-wheel drive, which would either be front-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive as in with the 1 Series being a front-wheel drive and the Z4 being a rear-wheel drive. The, the rear-wheel drive being more referred to as the driver's vehicle. Okay guys, we are seated in the cabin of the BMW Z4 and what an amazing place it is to be. Point number one, what do we start with? Well, let's start the motor. We are driving a cabriolet, so Let's take the top down. It's a beautiful sunny day in Cape Town. And it's not often that we get the privilege of driving around with a cabriolet down Chappies. Okay, cool. Sunglasses up. Drive. Let us select sport mode. And we are away immediately you feel how snappy the, the gearbox is when you are in sport mode it is a stunning view okay cool so what has changed with the BMW Z4 compared to its predecessors well to start off with we have actually got a soft top versus the hard top and a hard top typically gives you better ca or lower cabin noise and they've done really well to reduce cabin noise with a soft top very similar to that of the previous Z4 generation with this vehicle we have got a 20% shorter wheelbase which is for handling and we have also got narrow and wide which means that the front track runs slightly narrower than the rear track and that is again for better stability and handling. As mentioned previously, this 2 litre performs really well. 145 kilowatts, 320 Newton meters of torque, 6.6 .6 seconds, 0 to 100. Drop the gear. And step on the throttle. The response is phenomenal, especially again for a smaller motor. A lot of wind in Chappies now. And this is a perfect road to 
and the sound is amazing. Step it down into comfort mode. The snappiness of the gearbox immediately changes. It's a lot softer and a much more comfortable ride as well. So what would it be like to use the BMW Z4 as a daily? Well, if you are someone that want to use it for a, a weekend car, that would be amazing. Obviously you only have two seats so that uh, is a little bit limiting, but the fun factor just outweighs the practicality by far. Just to uh, get back to the point of the soft top and why they chose to opt for the soft top. It allows the boot space, 281 liters, whereas with a hot top, you drop the top into the boot and you really didn't have any space left, which is genius. On that note, we'd also like to just wish everyone an amazing 2023. This is the first video that we're making for 2023. We hope and trust that you guys enjoy the content that we're putting out there. If there's anything specific that you'd like to see us do, or any specific BMWs that you'd like us to review, be sure to uh, either drop that in the comments or, or send us a private message. I find it very exciting driving all these uh, different cars and getting to know them because they all have different personalities, if you would. With us being in, in the January season, a lot of, a lot of people still on holiday and that, therefore we're driving a little bit slow here. There's a lot of traffic, a lot of people coming this way to see what Cape Town has to offer. So as you can hear there, it's in comfort mode now and a lot softer. You obviously have eco mode still, which winds it down even more. And then back to sport mode. As soon as you, you drop it into sport mode, you'll see the revs going up, pops and crackles as you, uh, as you gear down. Mm. This car really allows you to be and dream like a kid again. <laughs> Every corner you approach just makes you a little bit more excited. And it's almost like you can't stop yourself. Down in the in one of the descriptions, all the extras that this vehicle has fitted. It is currently for sale. Seven hundred and fifty thousand two thousand and twenty model with eighteen thousand kilometers on the clock. More than welcome to chat to Yaku Konradi at BMW Tiger Valley. Great service. Cost these cars to put a deal together for you. They do trade-ins as well. The specific model has the digital dashboard as well as the largest screen infotainment system in the center here. Dual climate control, different drive modes as I mentioned, the Sport Comfort and the Eco Pro. It's got cream leather seats mixed with a black, which I must admit I quite like. I'm not normally not a fan of the cream seats, uh, but it really works well with a specific model. The infotainment system with great sound as well. And then it has the nighttime lights as well, which you can change the colors of blue, green, etc. You can turn it down a little bit if, uh, if that's not your thing. You can turn it off completely. Uh, if that's what you wanted to do but quite a nice feature as well allows you to see if you need to get something um, in the car at night allows you to see those things laying around maybe at your feet etc seems like every time i get ahead